All right, man. Welcome All to right. So you've, ne you've never seen your serve, right? Never. All right, this will be fun. So I'm going to go through some checkpoints here, like we did yesterday on the forehand with... Oh, this is this sir, me serving at the uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. US Open? Yeah, this is you after we worked on your serve for two hours. Uh, <laughs> you gained uh, a foot and... So a uh, couple main checkpoints here, like we did with uh, Roger. Uh, number one, we'll stop at the trophy pose. And the, the main, this is like the, the loaded like, position. It's mm -hmm. getting everything wound up and tilted and bent and, and ready for action. Mm -hmm. uh, and the main elements here are the hips and the chest facing back towards the camera. Um, so there's a rotation back. Yep. The vertical tilt with his upper body is really key. Uh, so that he can align his upper body to rotate up towards the ball instead of instead of forwards. Good serve is much more vertical than people think. Now, I chose this uh, serve actually. I've I've never used this with a student before, but I chose it because uh, because it's a kick serve. It's a top spin serve, and I, I feel like that's probably the serve that that you need the most uh, balance on and the most control on. It's probably the serve that you rely on the most. I would I would guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so that's why I'm, I'm picking this, just FYI. Uh, as things start to rotate up towards the ball and he starts to push up towards the ball, um, this is what people refer to as the racket drop. And the way you tell how good of a racket drop is, is, is how low the tip of the racket gets. And I also like to look at um, alignment of the forearm. And from there, Next key element is the angle of the racket going up towards the ball. Yep. If you were to maintain this position here, he'd just pure shank the ball off the, the edge of his racket. Yep. Um, and this is really key. His hitting surface is facing to the left. Mm -hmm. And as he comes up towards the ball, he holds that until just before contact. And then his racket turns to face the ball and face his target. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to notice it's kind of the basic alignment of his body going up towards the ball. Here at setup, his, his body is, is arced and, and bowed back to, to load his, uh, his hips and his, his torso. And then everything straightens and focuses on extending up towards the point of contact. Mm -hmm. So that everything is coordinated in that direction up towards the ball. Okay. And then even though this is a topspin serve, he's kicking out wide, and it's relatively casual, like he's not really juicing this up a ton. His entire size, like 25 shoe, is inside the baseline. Mm -hmm. And so uh, part of that unloading up towards the ball is also focused on going forward towards mm -hmm. the target. If we were looking from the side, we'd see a bit of a tilt into the, into the court. Mm -hmm. to lead his momentum forwards. All right, so here's a topspin serve on the ad side. So uh, initial body turn could be better. Mm -hmm. uh, other stuff looks pretty good here. Now, as you push up, you see that there's already starting to be a kind of a mismatch in how your body is uh, delivering energy. Mm -hmm. So our our target is, is over here. Um, your momentum and your energy very clearly is already starting to go back uh, this way. The other, the other main really, really good thing, and this is like, this is the biggest hurdle for amateur players, is this, is this right here. Yep. And you're doing a really excellent job holding, holding. holding that edge this is basically the, the, same, the same position that Raonic was in until just before contact and then presenting the strings towards the and ball. I'm super curious what my hand does here. And then you release. Okay. Right. So that's, th this is something that is a huge roadblock for amateur players. So the fact that you have the vertical alignment uh, with your upper body and the, the lagging or the loading of your racket and the release of your racket, like we can, we can build a good serve around that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna quickly, just to um, really highlight the, the balance uh, part of it. Let me make sure I got that. And yeah, so you, like, and yeah, I'm falling over backwards. Mm -hmm. 
And this is, this is the beginning of it. Yeah. Uh, as we go up closer to contact, it becomes more and more kind of accentuated for you, that lean. And Raonic ends up straightening up and aligning his body up towards contact. And so you're, you're falling away from the ball while he's extending up towards the ball. And so as he finishes and his body continues to unwind and turn, he lands very much in alignment with where he's trying to hit the ball while you're landing aligned over to the left. So for me, the, the, main, the main keys here are the, the winding of your upper body and your, point, your um, balance and your posture going up towards contact are definitely the biggest, biggest. The biggest things, yeah. Um, so we're gonna start with the, with the balance uh, part of it. Um, and what I'd like you to do is Go ahead and go through some slow uh, shadow swings without, without tossing, without a ball. And I'd like you to continue to, to um, load and tilt your torso the way that you have been. But as you come up towards contact, I'd like you to uh, focus exclusively on straightening your spine and coming up towards the point of contact. And I'd like to see you go through a bunch of reps going from trophy pose and kind of take a second to just kind of hang out there um, and just kind of feel that loaded position and then unwind and go up to contact. So just two positions, trophy pose and then rotate forwards and contact. Good, great. Can you uh, describe to me the uh, physical, the feeling, what's, uh, what's it feeling like? More up and forward than before. Okay. Here's uh, your last one. Trophy pose. Turn. Contact. Now what I'd love to see you do is all of your reps so far, which is totally fine, have been demonstrating uh, a slice serve or a flat serve contact point, mm -hmm. which is totally fine. Now I'd love for you to consciously bring your contact point back a little bit further over your head yep. while maintaining your good poise yep. and, okay. and posture with your upper body. Okay. One more. Thanks. So here's your last, uh, put your last three or so. It's starting to look pretty good. But already, I mean, even without a ball, it looks much more natural. Yeah. Or, or free flowing efficient than. Yep. Your body can actually operate, yeah. you know, a little more freely because it's not having to manage yeah. different forces from being off uh, from being off balance yeah so this to me looks really solid all right good now we're just going to add like 25 percent uh to the acceleration okay. um no more than that and so probably start to feel slightly realistic you know okay. but obviously yeah. on the slow end yeah, yeah. yeah sure warm up serve yeah, warm-up service. Yeah, that's a good that's a good description. Good, good, good. All your focus on your posture coming up out of your trophy pose. It's funny how how well your your arm motion is like staying right right in line. Okay, so uh, we're gonna try something a little different. Okay. Uh, you're gonna go through a couple of shadow swings, the like kind of the easiest warm-up serve kind of variety. And then after probably three or four, letting you get comfortable with it again, I'm gonna to toss for you. Okay. And you're, you're just gonna go through that same motion and the toss is all on me. Like I'm gonna, my job is gonna to be to place it right where I think it's gonna just align you up in just the right spot. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah.
felt a little weird, but just kind of trust me to put the, the ball in the right spot. And you're only focused here. And you're trusting me not to. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a trained professional. Uh, your only focus here is on going from your trophy pose to uh, good posture, posture at contact. Right. We want to see solid um, poise at contact and not, not falling back. Nice. One more. All right, ready? Same tempo. Nice, Sean. Nice, Sean. Let's do it again. One more uh, practice one. That looked pretty good to me. Same thing. That toss was a little more to the left that time. Way to fight it. One practice. Straight up and down. Nice job, nice job. I'm, cu I'm curious about all three of those. I, I think your first one was, was pretty well executed. Yep. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, job, that's right, nice right. job. Yeah. That's awesome. And then uh, second one, my, my toss was a little too far to the left. But even then. And so you, you had yeah, to lean yeah. a little bit, but yeah, this is like yeah. way better than where we yeah, started. Right. Like you're, you're still reasonably uh, balanced. I'm curious about the third one. Pretty similar to the middle one. Yeah. So that first one was actually uh, our best so far. So I uh, would love to see a couple of shadow swings and then a self uh, toss now. And see if you can manage the, the toss placement and the extension with your body up towards the ball. Yep. Hi, nice, Sean. Uh, this is dark and out of focus, uh, but I, I just let it run anyway, uh, and I'm I'm glad I let it run. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, yeah. with this effort. Right foot. Yep. Still a little bit of a right, a rightward uh, shift. Yep. That's, that's interesting. What's interesting to me is you're like you're leaving the court at, at this point here, like you're you're in, in good posture, but for some reason your feet are hopping to the right. So I, I'm almost wondering like. Are your feet sliding your hips to the right, and that's why your bo your body gets left tilted to the left? Does that does that yeah, make sense? It, it does. Like your body's staying put, but your <laughs> I never would have guessed this could be possible. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but your like if we draw a line down your spine here, like your shoulder blades have stayed in the same spot, but your feet have. <laughs> have jumped out to the right, which is interesting. They could, they could, this could just be, I mean, just a residual habit from... From all the years Exactly, of, of leaning over. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, because every serve I've hit, I've had to... You've had to counterbalance yourself. Yeah, right. So let's just practice um, trophy pose, no, no ball, no toss, uh, and just uh, practice unwinding up towards the ball and, and hopping forwards into the court. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's great, that's great. All right, cool. Nice, nice, I like it. Uh-huh. The question is... I'm curious if I could hop like that and hit the ball. Seems like you should be able to, right? But when the ball, when the ball goes up there... Watch, the ball go up. Hold on a second. I'm going to hop that way. Just hold on a second, hold on a second. Do a couple more practice ones for me. I just want to get a video of it. Sean, it doesn't matter if you hit the ball, it doesn't matter what happens. I just want to see you toss and hop in the same direction. Good, 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 better, better, better. I'm really curious to see this. <laughs> 
Dude, that's totally better. It's to you're still coming to the right, right yeah. but it's, it's much less than before. Uh, so left foot, right foot. So yeah. you're like equal parts forwards and right now. Now let's make it more more forwards. Okay, you okay, yeah. You want you, me you to know hop. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you want me to hop. Yeah, Instead watch, watch, watch your practice one. All you gotta do is what you're doing here. Here's your two feet. Just a little bunny hop. Okay. So the my point here is that oh, I'm going there should be a diagonal yes. towards the box. Versus this. Exactly. Your actual hit. It's funny, I started off like that. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's actually pretty good, but it's a little more, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. bit more that yeah, way yeah. than it is this way. Yeah, right, right, Does that right. make sense? Yeah, yeah. But look at your, hey, look at, look at your posture on the hit. So you're not, you're not swinging your, your hips That's out. That's the for, best one that we have. For sure. Good job. Here's I your, think I felt like I straight up and here's down. Here's your last practice that. one. Which is great. Forward hop, good posture. Here's your hit. Not bad for because that ball was farther <laughs> over my head. It's better, better. Look at that. Pretty much straight you're straight in alignment there. Yeah. The alignment felt really good there. Oh. <clears throat> Towards the net strap. <laughs> that would make net strap pretty tough. <laughs> Getting better, Sean. I mean, we're, you know, a mile away from where we started. Like there's act, there's actual control, you know, with your upper body yeah, now. Right. Well, the other thing, I just feel like the ball comes off so much cleaner and harder. That's good. Let's check uh, real quick. I'm just curious on that. Oh, whoops. That one versus uh, where we started. It's pretty easy. To <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like think you were just so used to kicking that, that foot out. Both feet were kind of linking together and sliding out to the right. Okay. But we've got like 20, 30 good reps in here. Okay. It's just a matter of you now um, being really disciplined about your level of focus and the amount of energy you're allowing yourself to put into the swing. Right. And the focus just needs to be on. I'm going right at that neck cord. Yep. Okay. Any questions? No, I should be second. Good job.